What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. School is out, and for many of us, summer is officially here, and I know a lot of you have some summer holiday travel plans, as do I, so I thought this would be the perfect time to share with you all my absolute favorite to luxury beauty products and tools for travel. I am leaving for Italy very, very soon, and so you guys are gonna get a sneak peek into my travel makeup bag and also some tried and true products from previous trips. So if you wanna hang out with me today and hear about all of my luxury beauty travel favorites, then keep watching. Okay, first things first, Maybe this is obvious, but for me, when it comes to packing my makeup for travel, I need to have a good travel makeup bag. And these are the ones that I really like. These are not expensive. I got them from Amazon. I'll link them down below. If you've watched my everyday makeup series, you've probably seen these before because I also use these for my everyday makeup bag. I really like these for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that they're not that big, okay? So you're not gonna overpack. I am the kind of person where I like lay out a lot of stuff and then I definitely have to whittle it down because I don't want my suitcase to be too heavy. The other reason why I really like these is because they are see-through. So you can see exactly what you've packed and you can also tell the difference between your makeup bag versus your toiletries, your hair stuff, anything else that you're packing. It's really easy to just kind of see everything at a glance. I also really like that these have a nice little handle at the top so you can just boop, carry it around and kind of put it on top of the hotel bathroom vanity, wherever you're gonna be doing your makeup. They're very portable. These are the ones that I always always go back to just because they're very practical and very almost makeup artisty. And yeah, once again, I can see through them and that just makes everything a lot easier. The other thing that I like to do, which was a complete game changer for me, was to make my luxury foundations travel size because you guys know a lot of the luxury foundations, they come in those big luxurious glass bottles and jars. They're not travel friendly. Personally, I need all of the room I can get in my suitcase and I'm not gonna be packing those heavy jars. Are, so what do I do? I decant them into these handy dandy little pump bottles. I love these babies, okay? They are the perfect size. Like this is plenty to last me my whole trip. And I usually like to label them with my label maker. You can see this one says the Chanel Water Fresh Tint, which is a really great summertime kind of light skin tint. If you're going on like a beach vacation, it's great for that. And by the way, I will link my label maker down below because I know a lot of you guys have that one as well for all of your makeup organization. For this trip to Italy, I'm definitely going to be using the Boy de Chanel. This is the Le Tint Foundation. I recently reviewed this for you guys. I've been absolutely loving it. It's supposed to be a foundation for men, but I love it. It's super lightweight. It gives kind of like a light to medium coverage. It's gorgeous, but as you can see, the bottle is very, very heavy. So I'm gonna be making a new little label bottle just for that. And yeah, probably in addition to that, I might bring one or two other foundations. I know. If you are new here, I'm not a minimalist, okay? I love my makeup, and when I go on vacation, I try and streamline what I bring, but I do like to have my makeup with me. I wanna be living my best life, okay? Having fun with my makeup. It's like a little fun capsule collection for me to play with. So these are an absolute game changer because it allows me to bring multiple foundations with me, you know, just in case, just in case, all right? Anyway, I will link these down below. One of the reasons why I really like these specifically, and it took me a while to find these, is because a lot of the travel size pump bottles that you see on Amazon or even at like your local CVS or Walgreens, they're too big. They're too big. They're almost double or triple the size of these. It took me a while to kind of go through Amazon and find ones that were this small because if they're going to be double the size, like what, what's the point of, you know, packing yourself a little travel size foundation if it's going to be large and take up a lot of space? So these specifically are my favorites. And by the way, if you happen to be enjoying this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Sophia and welcome to my channel, Sophia Sees Beauty. That is all about having fun with luxury beauty. If you like luxury beauty, if you're a fanatic, or maybe you're just trying to get started, you are in the right place, my friend. I do a lot of new makeup reviews, fun and helpful guides like this. And we also have some intellectual discussions about the luxury beauty industry. So if that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button to join our fam. We would love to have you. And as a quick reminder, friends, I will link all these products that I'm mentioning in this video in the description box down below, along with any coupon codes that I might have. Do know that I use affiliate links most of the time. So when you shop through them, it does support my channel. Thank you so, so much. And with that, let's get on to the rest of this video. The other thing that I will do when it comes to base products is that I will look for products that come in a squeezy tube because usually they're more lightweight. They're a little bit more compact. You don't have like that big glass bottle. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of my favorites. First off, I have the RMS Supernatural Radiance Serum. This is really great as well if you're going on maybe like a beach vacation or somewhere where 
you know, you're just like not really gonna wear makeup. Like if you're sitting by a pool, most of us don't put on makeup or at least I don't, but I really like to wear this because it just gives a beautiful, you know, no makeup makeup type of look, a little bit of a glow. But then if I am gonna wear makeup, I can also use this as a primer. It also is SPF 30. So you get like a little bit of, you know, extra sun protection as well. You guys also know I absolutely love the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint. This is one of my favorite skin tints. This is really great if you have dry skin or if you want more of like, you know, kind of like a dewy finish. I also have here the Clay de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation. This one is super lightweight. It also is just a very effortless foundation. If you recently watched my top five luxury foundations video, this one was featured. And it's just like, it's so easy to put a little bit on the tips of your fingers and just kind of melt it into the skin. And then the last one, which apparently is a huge fan favorite with you guys, because I mentioned it once and I got so many comments. It is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Ultra Light Skin Perfecting Sun sunscreen makeup. This is what I have on my skin today. This is also a very beautiful, like travel friendly, lightweight in terms of packaging, but also lightweight in terms of the feel of it on your skin type of makeup. You can sheer it out if you want more of like a skin tint effect, but I'll also show you guys right here. I used a brush to build it up to get a little bit more coverage. So if you really like Chanel makeup, or maybe you're looking to try a new Chanel foundation, this one and also the Boy de Chanel are some really good ones to check out for the summertime. If you have watched any in my pack with me videos before, then you know I love a good multi-purpose palette. These are essential for me because usually I can use them all over the face, but also as an eyeshadow palette as well. And there's so many good ones out there. You probably already have one in your makeup collection, but these are my personal favorites. First up, it wouldn't be a vacation without bringing out one of my hourglass palettes. I pretty much always bring one of these on my trips. And I have a bunch at this point because obviously I review them here on my channel. And usually I will pick whichever one I feel fits the vibe of the trip the most. This one right here is the Jellyfish palette that came out this past holiday. This is a good kind of standard neutral one for me, but if I'm going on more of like a beachy vacation, something more summery that I might go for a warmer one, like the Tiger palette from the year before. I think, I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna be bringing this one with me, but I haven't quite decided yet. I'm definitely gonna bring one of them with me on this trip. I also have have really been enjoying these new palettes from the Chanel Le Beige collection from this year. You guys saw in my review, not only could you use this all over the face, you got the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, but you can also use this as an eyeshadow palette. Very multi-purpose. It's a little bit big, I'm not gonna lie, but it's pretty much like the same size as the Hourglass palette. I also recently picked up this Makeup Forever multi-purpose cream palette. I am definitely bringing this with me on my vacation. I recently did a demo of this palette. I'll link it down below where I used pretty much all of the products in here. Today I'm wearing this cream blush on the cheeks. So, so pretty. This is a really nice formula that is not greasy or dewy. It's very long lasting. When I go on vacation, just because a lot of the times it is to a warmer place or it's during the summertime, I want something that is going to last. I want something that's going to really be like locked and loaded on my face because I'm the kind of person where I like to explore Lore. Like I get ready, I leave my hotel room and oftentimes I don't go back until the end of the day. So like whatever is on my face needs to stay on my face. And I really like that for a cream formula, this is very long lasting. And as you can see, you've got like the bronzer shades, you have base and concealer, you have uh, the contour shade here, you have four blushes and two highlighters. And this also comes in another colorway that is for medium to deep skin tones. Going back to Hourglass for a quick second, they all also make these smaller palettes. So if you don't want to lug around the larger ambient lighting palettes, they also have these trios. This one I purchased recently in a sale. This one is called Diffused Rose Edit. If it's still available, I'll link it down below, but they have a couple of these that they always release. And I just love the fact that it comes with the blurring powder, a blush and a highlighter. So all you really need otherwise is maybe like a little bronzer single or something like that. And then I also wanted to remind you guys 
about all of these Charlotte Tilbury palettes. I know a lot of you have the nude gasm, you have the love gasm, this one right here, which I think is beautiful for the summer. Very beachy, very summery. I love this on the eyes as well. Maybe you have the instant look in a palette. I have one of those. Those are perfect for travel, so I often will dip into these also. Let's take a quick break from makeup and talk about makeup brushes because just like my foundations, I need to have my makeup brushes. I have to have them. So I usually put together, again, kind of like a little makeup brush capsule collection. And my favorite sets and sort of carrying cases for travel makeup brushes are definitely the ones from BK Beauty. This is the one that is the Angie Hot and Flashy travel brush set. So you get the little pouch just like this. You zip it open and just like so, you can fold it down and you can put all of your little brushes in there. It also comes with travel sizes of the Angie Hot and Flashy brush set. So for example, this is one of the full size brushes and then this is the travel size one. So it's just like a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact. So usually I will use these and then I'll add in a couple of other brushes because again, I'm just extra. I need to have my brushes with me. BK Beauty also has the travel set that opens up like a book. That is the one that my mom has and she really likes that. And she actually uses that all the time as just like her little brush kit. So that one is very handy. And then the other one that they have, which actually it's not a brush set, it's just a brush holder. So if you don't need any new brushes, this might be the best one for you. It is this one right here. Sorry that these are a little bit dirty guys. They're, they're very well loved. So you can see that I've used them. It basically, it's like this, you can zip it up and it also lays very flat. So you can lay it into your suitcase, very handy. But once you put it on the little bathroom counter or wherever you're getting ready, the vanity, you can scrunch it down and then you can see the tops of all the brushes, very, very handy. And at the moment, actually, this is the travel pouch that I'm using to hold all of my face brushes. So I thought just for fun, I would show you guys my top five favorite face brushes for travel because the eye brushes don't take up as much room, okay? When it comes to the face brushes, I really try and narrow it down to the ones that I know will be very multi-purpose because I just, I can't fit all of them and I also don't want them, you know, getting too squished inside the case. So the first one that I highly recommend is none other than the BK Beauty 101. And I'll show you quickly right here. This is what the travel size looks like. You get this one when you buy the Angie Hot and Flashy travel set, which is really great because this is not in the regular Angie Hot and Flashy set, but you get it in the travel size. Absolutely love this one. This is definitely coming with me on vacation, but this brush is perfect for anything liquid or cream. You can use it for your foundation, for your cream bronzer, for your cream blush, for your cream contour, for your cream highlighter. It's absolutely perfect. I use this so, so much. One of my favorite brushes ever. You could do your whole face with this if you're somebody that is using cream and liquid products. The other one that I highly recommend is the smaller version of that, which is the BK Beauty 109. I use this pretty much every single day for my concealer. It is so, so soft around the eye area. This is also really good for getting into those palettes that I just mentioned that have kind of like the smaller pans specifically for cream products. You can go into that Makeup Forever palette. You can dab on the blush. You could dab on the highlighter, the contour. So this is really good as well if you have some of those travel palettes where the pans are just a little bit more on the smaller side. I also really like the BK Beauty N17. This is a part of the Nikki LaRose Pro line that they recently released this past holiday. This one is dual sided, so you can use one side for powder one side for cream. Again, very multi-purpose. This is another one that is a little bit on the smaller side, so it fits into those smaller pans of the travel size products. I really like to use this basically for everything. I like it for more like precise work. I like it for a little bit of blush, a little bit of cream blush, highlighter right here. It's such a good little brush. It's fluffier, obviously, than the 109, so this is going to give you more of like a lighter, more natural application. And then, of course, I got to give it up to my girl, Sonia G. I love the Face Pro. This is one of, I think it's my favorite Sonia G face brush. Definitely one of my most favorite face brushes in my collection. I like the fact that it's not too big, but it's also not too small. It's kind of the perfect size for all over powder or just a powder bronzer application. I also like the fact that it's angled because it makes it a little bit easier to use it for contour if you wanted 
candidate for that or kind of for like a sculpting blush application. And then finally, favorite travel brush number five, the Sonia G Smooth Buffer. Or any of the Sonia G Buffer brushes, honestly, are really, really good. But the Smooth Buffer in particular, like I said with some of the others, it's a little bit on the smaller side. This is great for those hourglass palettes because it is the perfect size for those little pans. I absolutely love it. You could use this for bronzer, for blush, for contour. Again, it's a very multi-purpose brush. It's great for just kind of buffing everything into the skin, whether you want a more pigmented application or something that is a little bit more diffused. As much as I love making my own travel mini, sometimes it does just make sense to buy the miniature version of the product. So I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite travel minis. The first two that I have right here are from Westman Atelier. They actually recently, if I'm not mistaken, came out with some more travel sizes of some of their star products, particularly the little stick formulations. And look how cute they are. I'm so excited about these. This is the newest one that I recently picked up about two weeks ago from Sephora. This is my all time favorite contour stick, the Face Trace in the shade Biscuit. Take a look at this cute little travel size. I always want to bring the Face Trace with me when I go on trips, but the packaging is very luxurious and it's very heavy. So I always kind of feel like, uh, should I bring it? Or maybe I should use something in like a multi-purpose travel palette or something like that. I don't have to have that conundrum anymore because now I have this little miniature version. They also came out with mini versions of their cream blushes. This one is doo doo, as you can see, I've labeled it right there so I can tell the difference. This is a beautiful soft rose. I also really, really like the Rare Beauty mini liquid blushes. Look how cute she is, she's a little baby. <laughs> These are so fun and like it's small, but we all know this is like a lifetime supply of Rare Beauty blush. I think that they released more miniatures recently. You see, these brands, they know. They know that we're going on our trips. They know that we love these products already. So then they release them in the travel size and then we must get them in the travel size. This is in the shade Hope. Yes, this is in the shade Hope, which is a really beautiful kind of pinky peach, very neutral. And so that's why I usually take this one with me because it just goes with everything. I also love a good miniature concealer. These are my two favorites. I have the NARS Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Madeline, but I also have the vanilla shade as well. So I usually go for those two. These will definitely be coming with me on my trip. And then I also have the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is an oldie, but a goodie. It's more high coverage. It's very glowy. And I find that this is perfect if I just, I don't know, maybe I have a little bit extra to cover up. It's very blurring. And this is also good for cleaning up, you know, like a, a wing that went awry because you didn't have the right mirror in the hotel bathroom or something like that. It's just good for cleaning up little mistakes, covering up pimples, that kind of a thing. And then finally, I'm a huge fan of the Hourglass Minis. This is one of the little blushes that I picked up in the recent Sephora sale. This one is Luminous Flush, but I also really like the mini bronzers, the mini setting powders. Hourglass on their website, they actually have an entire page dedicated to miniature products of some of their best sellers. So I'll link that down below. And I also have a coupon code to the Hourglass site in case you want to pick anything up, you can save a couple bucks. Let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. Practical, travel-friendly eyeshadow palettes for the makeup lovers like us. I have a couple favorites to share with you guys. The first favorites are these from the Dior Backstage line. I really like these because you get a lot of colors to play around with. They're usually fairly neutral and practical. Also the packaging, it's pretty slim and lightweight. It's also see-through so you can see exactly what you have in your bag if you're kind of rummaging around and reaching for things. This is kind of like the makeup artist inspired line. So it makes sense that it would be very practical. The shade that I have been really enjoying is this new one, the 03 Warm Essentials. I've been wearing this one nonstop. It really is the perfect everyday palette for me all year round because I love warm tones. I frequently will use like these lighter tones for just an everyday look. And then I can dip into these if I want you know, something a little bit more dramatic. Maybe I'm going out to dinner. I can use one of the darker shades as a liner. Also, the palette that I have on my eyes today, it is the Chanel Le Beige Warm Palette. We got Warm Essentials from Dior and then Warm also from Chanel. In general, this line, the Le Beige eyeshadow palettes from Chanel, really, really great for travel. I often will pack maybe this one and maybe one of the more like intense ones if I just want like a daytime and a nighttime look. I think that five shades 
reads is great. It's plenty to work with. They're very easy. They're very effortless. And for me, once again, this is kind of my perfect everyday summertime type of vibe. I mean, I, I just love this look. It's bright. It's soft. I really, really like this palette from Hermes. I know that these are very pricey, but this one I get a lot of use out of. And not only because the palette in general is pretty neutral and the formula is really great, it's easy to work with, but also if you've seen my review of these palettes, this shade right here can be used as a blush, a really beautiful, soft, kind of slightly peachy coral blush. So I kind of think of this almost as a face palette. So this one as well is really beautiful. And also if you want something a little bit more cool toned, I think these shadows, they definitely lean more, as you can see, on the cooler side compared to the Chanel palette. And then of course I have to recommend the Busy Art palettes, just like the Dior Backstage. These are very makeup artist inspired. So you get a lot of different shades in one. You can create many looks, even if you just bring one palette with you on your trip. But the packaging is very simple and lightweight. And also like if you drop it or if somebody, I don't know, hurls your suitcase onto a conveyor belt or something like that, trust me, it's not going to shatter. I've, I've dropped these before. I highly recommend checking out the Paris Reveries. This is the newest one. If you like kind of softer, more pinky, peachy, purpley types of looks, the one that I bring with me the most, again, because I go on a lot of more like warmer weather, summertime trips is definitely the Sole La Plage. I just love the summery colors here. You get a lot of neutrals, but then some fun pops of color. And trust me, these don't look weird. I love the blue. I love the yellow. I will link a video down below where I demo this palette when I went to Miami. I also highly recommend if you want something that's like just neutral, the Solstice palette. Oh my goodness, guys, like this palette, it's the perfect neutral palette. If you want something that is neutral to kind of warm tone, you have every neutral matte that you need. Okay. You get some neutral shimmers and then you get this one really fun kind of slightly pinky topper shade. And it looks so good in the center of the eye. And then your last option, if you want to get a little bit creative, if you want like a little crafty project. If you have a lot of these Viseur palettes that come, I think these are called the slim, the slim compact, I believe they're called. If you have a lot of them, you can create your own custom Viseur palette. This is the one that I made maybe like two years ago. I filmed a video where I showed you how I made this and kind of how I put all these colors together. So if you like that kind of a thing where, you know, you declutter and like curate and that kind of stuff, definitely check that out. I can link it down below. But this is another one that I often will bring with me because it just has, once again, it's like all the colors that I chose. What am I going to bring this time around? I, I'm on the fence, but I think I'm going to bring the Dior Backstage palette because this is a little bit newer. And again, it has a lot of really great neutral shades. And then I think I'm going to bring the Soleil La Plage. All of these are good options, okay? But I'm kind of leaning towards these two because these kind of give me all the different colors I usually like to play with. And then of course, if you're more of a minimalist, you also can go the single eyeshadow route. I usually like to pick out one or two eyeshadow sticks to put in my makeup bag. They don't really take up that much room. They're really handy if you don't have a lot of time, you want something super simple. And my favorite ones are from Victoria Beckham Beauty. The two that I recommend are these two right here. I have Ballet, which is a soft pink. Really, really great if you like, of course, those like pinky tones that are very popular. But also Shroom is really, really beautiful for like a cool tone taupey one and done. Really great. I have a review of these, by the way, if you want to see these tried on, but these are my favorite in kind of like the stick category. And then of course you also have the option of a powder eyeshadow single, very low maintenance, doesn't take up a lot of space in your bag. If you really think you're only going to wear like one or two shadows, instead of bringing an eyeshadow palette, maybe just bring like an eyeshadow stick and one of these singles. These are my two favorites right now. I really like the shade Tool by Dior. It's a very boring shade. Okay. Okay, but it has been like an everyday favorite for me if I don't have a lot of time. I probably won't bring this one on my trip only because this shade is very similar to some of the ones in those other two palettes that I just said I think I'm going to be bringing with me. But that is something that I would bring with me if I was going on like a weekend trip and you know, like I just wanted one or two eyeshadows with me. What I will be bringing with me, however, is this shade from Chanel, which is Jade Facette. I like this as like a little pop of color. If I want the option, of going a colorful route. If I just want something a little bit fun, this is the shade that I'm going to be going for. I just love these kinds of minty and seafoam green colors that are trending right now. So another way that you can think about bringing a single 
eyeshadow is if you want the option to do a pop of color, don't bring a whole palette. Just bring your small travel friendly neutral palette that you use all the time and then bring one single shadow in a fun shade because, you know, sometimes you don't end up wearing it and at least it doesn't take up a lot of space if that's the case. Like I was saying before, when it comes to my travel makeup, having products that are not only, you know, easy, effortless, but also truly long lasting and budge proof is even more important. While I know sometimes these products can be a little bit boring, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite like long lasting budge proof staples. The first thing is my favorite setting spray. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I usually have a little mini. I also do like the Urban Decay. I have a mini of that one as well, but I think I like the Charlotte Tilbury one just a little bit more. Usually when I do my makeup, again, because I work from home most of the time, I don't use setting spray, but when I'm traveling, I definitely do. This is a huge staple for me. When it comes to mascara, I have two recommendations. I really like the Kali Ray mascara. Usually I will get a little mini just like this one, very compact for my makeup bag. This is great because again, like it's so long lasting. It gives a lot of really good length. I can build it up to get some volume as well. It's not waterproof. I don't like waterproof mascaras because they're so hard to remove. This actually comes off very easily with warm water. I have sensitive eyes, so I like the kind of tubing mascara style. It won't come off, however, when you are, you know, sightseeing in 90 degree heat and you're sweating. The other recommendation that I have here is a newer favorite. This is from Surat. This is the Surat Noir Lash Tint. I've never used anything like this before. This product is exactly what it says. It is a lash tint. It's actually what I have on my lashes today. It doesn't have a brush. It is basically just like a metal rod with little grooves in it, and it gives your lashes the most natural look. I mean, look at it, okay? It's not clumpy. It's just a little tint. I did build it up so that it has a little bit more volume, but if you're going on a vacation where, again, maybe it's like a beach vacation, maybe you do like to put a little bit of makeup by the pool, or you just want something very, very natural, this is a good option. I love the effect it gives. It's very easy to apply. Again, it's such a strange wand, but I really, really like it. And this is, I don't want to say waterproof because it makes it sound like it's going to be hard to remove. I went in the shower with this and it didn't come off. I had to use makeup remover or like an oil cleanser, which is usually how I take off my makeup. But I went into the shower with this just to try it out and it did not come off. It's very long lasting. This is like my new favorite thing. This and the other Surat mascara are so, so good. And I have a coupon code to Surat, so I will link that down below. And then similarly for eyeliners, my two favorite long lasting ones at the moment are the ones from Chanel, the Yo Waterproof, and then these new ones from Dior. These are the Dior Show Stilo Waterproof Creamy Eyeliner Pen. These are a little bit creamier and more blendable. So if you like that smudgy look, I would recommend the Dior. If you want something maybe like a little bit more precise, go with the Chanel. But essentially what I like to do is I like to pick one eyeliner that is like a neutral color. This one is my favorite. It's called Brun Agape from Chanel. It is the most perfect kind of medium tone brown. I have it on my lashes today and you probably can't even tell because it looks very, very natural, but you can also build it up if you want like a more dramatic look. So I'll pack one that's more neutral and then I will pack one that's more colorful, either bright or like a darker color. So the one that I really like here is the matte, is it called matte blue or matte navy? Matte blue, matte blue from Dior. This is really great. It goes beautiful with like a golden shadow or a copper shadow. The blue really stands out. So it's kind of like a pop of color without like doing too much. So these are my two eyeliner favorites. Very, very long lasting. They do not budge and they have some really great color selections. Couple more favorites for you guys. The next thing I want to talk about is lip products. And this is the category where I don't know about you, but personally I can go overboard and half the time, most of the time, okay, I don't end up wearing all of the lip products that I bring. I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm going to do like this bright red lip or this bright pink lip. I almost never do that. Okay. I don't have the time and then I don't really feel like reapplying. So what I've learned over the past years is to choose lip products that are beautiful, but very low maintenance. So my first recommendation here are the YSL Love Shine lipsticks. These used to be called the Rouge Volupte Shine. I still have some of the older ones, but they kind of rebranded them and slightly changed them. I can't tell the difference. And they're now called the Love Shine. This one that I have right here is called Nude Lingerie. This one was gifted to me by the brand, but I have a couple other colors that I really like. They're very natural. They're very easy. Something you can just 
just like throw in your purse, goes with every look. Like they're very easy to use. You really don't need a mirror to put them on. They're just like a nice shiny oil and stick type of product. The past couple of years when these were the Rouge Volupté Shine, I brought them on every single trip and I consistently used them. The other recommendation, if you want something that's just like a little bit more pigmented, but still very effortless, are the Merit Satin Lipsticks. These are kind of like a cross between like a moisturizing waxy balm and a more pigmented lipstick. They're still very lightweight, still the kind of thing where you don't need to like sit there with your lip liner and like precisely apply it. They're very easy and effortless. And the two colors that I have here are number one Cabo, which is this beautiful kind of like bright orangey red. You could do like the blotted lip look and just kind of like tap it in the middle of the lips. And then the one that I'm actually wearing on my lips today, which is called Tiger. I think these might've been the first two that I bought when these first came out. Mm, this is just like a nice, like rosy toasty brown. Perfect for the summer, just something like neutral, but like you can still notice it. You know what I mean? In addition to that, something to think about is that if you're gonna be somewhere that is truly hot, like very hot, maybe you're gonna be waiting in line in the sun or something like that, you might not wanna bring a lipstick, something that comes in a bullet because it might melt, okay? So you might wanna go with a lip oil. This is my favorite as of late. These are the Guerlain lip oils and this shade is called Pop Rose Glow. These are so gorgeous. I do like them, I will be honest, more than the Dior ones. These are perfect for the summertime because again, it's not going to melt. Definitely gonna be bringing this one with me on my trip. By the way, all the ones that I'm showing you here, these are definitely the ones that are coming with me on my trip. You guys also know I love the Dior Attic Lip Maximizers. This one is one of my favorites. It's called Shimmer Hazelnut. Mm let's put a little bit on top so you can see how gorgeous and glittery this is. Mm, such a good like neutral summertime lip color. I also really like the bronzed glow. Is it bronzed glow? Yeah, bronzed glow. That's the newest one that I reviewed for you guys. That one's actually in my purse right now, but that one is also going to be coming with me. That one is a little bit warmer in tone and less glittery. And then finally, my last recommendation, if you want something that's more of a lip balm, very low maintenance, I would highly recommend the lip lights from RMS. This one is called Rhapsody, but they have a lot of other really beautiful colors. It's a very beautiful, nourishing lip mask type of formula. One of my favorites that I've ever tried. I have a clear one that I use almost every single night before I go to bed. And the tinted ones are great to just keep in your purse if you want like a quick little, you know, just like a little nice low maintenance tint, kind of like a two in one. And I have a coupon code for RMS as well that I will link down below. Are you still with me, friends? My last recommendation is for fragrance and not necessarily particular fragrances because I've already talked about that in so many videos. This tip is more so around like how to travel with your fragrances. Obviously you can collect the little like sample sizes. I do that. But sometimes I just want to take my favorite fragrance, my full size fragrance, but without the big like hefty glass bottle. And with that, I usually will decant it into these little mini atomizers. And you can find these on Amazon. My boyfriend actually got me a pack of these. I'll try and figure out where he got them and I'll link them down below. These are so, so easy. You basically just like take the little thing, this little thing off. You like pump it onto your fragrance and then yeah, the perfume just goes into this little vial and it's perfect. It's very lightweight, made of like a lightweight plastic. Like it's not anything too crazy, but it's a very quick and affordable way to bring your luxury perfumes with you when you travel. Personally, I'm going to be filling up this one with my new Tom Ford Mandarino di Amalfi. This has been one of my summertime fragrance. I recently got this in the Sephora sale that happened back in April, and I haven't taken this with me on a trip yet, and I think this is gonna be my fragrance for my Italy trip. So I'm gonna be putting that in here, and then I'm gonna be using my label maker to put a little label on it. And that is it. Those are all of my travel favorites that I have to share with you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I always like to see what people bring with them on vacation. I don't know, I'm just nosy. I like to see, you know, like what their favorites are, what they got going on in their makeup bag. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what is in your travel makeup bag. What are your travel favorites? What are the things that you reach for constantly? Do you wear makeup when you travel? Are you somebody that likes to do a full face? Or are you more of like a minimalist type of person? Let me know because I know that we're all different. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We would absolutely love to have you. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.